¿Quieres uno de estos? Ya compré. ¿Eso para qué? Para oír. No, ya compré. Nada. Sí, pero y, y ese es audífono, es, es inalámbrico. Sí. ¿Y cómo se para, para, para el teléfono? ¿Cómo se hace? No, el teléfono, el teléfono. También. Lo estás así conectado. Pero siempre tengo que, tengo que buscar el YouTube. Pero sí, pero eso ya. Dos, dos. Ya te van a ver. Así como sos de. de de constructivo. Se me ha perdido uno aquí, tiene que estar. ¿Quién se me ha perdido? Vaya, hoy, y por mirar, y me acuerdo que me duele abrir la botella. Porque no sé si la así la quité ahora. Bueno. ¿Sí? Lo, lo, lo bueno que son de short. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How, How are, are you? Miss? I'm doing okay, oh. thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm I'm doing the the homeworks, but I have kind of uh, kind of problem with the uh, 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 tomorrow I'm going to. This is kind of difficult, someone. Yeah, so, fourth, some fourth. yeah some of the. Some of the exercises, uh, you have to be careful with the spelling, with the punctuation, yeah, exactly. and you also have to be careful with the structure that you are using. So, yeah, it, it might take a little bit of extra work. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, welcome back. Francis, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good. Thank you. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, a busy day. Okay. Just recently finished a meeting. The last one of the day, and I still have some emails. To okay. Finish. Are you Are you in your house right now? Uh yeah. Right now, I am in my house. You're doing home office. Oh. Uh, it's a mixer. Mixed. Uh huh. Okay. So. All right. So, how frequent do you have to go to the office? Normally, three day, three days of the of the week. Okay. So you go like every other day, or do you go back to back? Excuse me. Do you go every other day, or do you go back to back? I don't got it. I don't understand what is back to back. Okay, back to back means seguidos. Oh. Back, back I see. to back. If you say every other day, mm -hmm. you're saying un día si, un día no. Every other okay. day. That's, that's a good one, teacher. Yeah, yeah. So do you go back to back or do you go every other day? I, I go every other day. All right, good, good, excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, so well, welcome back, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Bersabe? Fine, teacher. Fine. Very happy to receive the class. Nice, nice. Thank you. Valentina, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm good. It was a pussy day. Busy and day. what about you? Um, I, you know, like much of the work that I'm doing now is, is home office. And, uh, but I go to San Salvador every day in the morning to teach, uh, to teach a class, you know, like face to face. So, uh, oh. but after I finish that class, I return to Lourdes and I continue with my routine, with my program. Right. But I had a good day, thank God. 
All right, so let's begin. Today is what? Bem November 12th, uh -huh. 2020. Okay, how do you spell 12th? T, let me check, let me check. No way, you're back. Uh, <laughs> Hello, good evening. How are you, Noe? Fine, fine. Good, Very good. good. A little yes. tired. Yeah, yeah. What time do you finish your day, Noe? Uh, <clears throat> almost seven. Okay. Seven night. All right, good. Okay, so anybody volunteer to spell 12th? Mm -hmm. E W E E L L D E L D E. Um, okay, let me let, let me write it in the chat. <laughs> so you said um, I have twelve dollars. I have yes. twelve chairs, I have twelve books, whatever. But if you want to say twelve. Mm -hmm. In ordinal, you eliminate yes. VE. Instead of VE, you put letter F, and then at the end, you put TH. TH. Right. Yes. So uh, remember uh, the fifth, the ninth, I get it. I get it. And the twelfth, you know, they finish with TH, but mm -hmm. they suffer changes before you put the TH. Mm -hmm. so fifth, yes. ninth, and twelfth. Right. B F. Okay. All right. Thank you, Pardon. sir. Pardo. Right. Pardo. Any Pardo. questions or comments? Pardo. Questions or comments? No. No, it's okay. It's All right. Okay. So, uh, do you remember the topics we covered uh, yesterday? Uh. De defining and non de uh, defining clauses. Okay, defining and Define non defining. Non defining clauses. So defining is when you give information that is necessary for the whole sentence to make sense. Non defining mm -hmm. is extra information that if it's you take plain. it away, the sentence will still make sense with the rest of the information that you have there. So defining, mm -hmm. undefining. What else mm -hmm. did we talk about? Talk about names. 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 <laughs> we talked about names. How do you say Question. Apollo in English? Nickname. 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 Yes. How do you say Tokayo in English? Namesake. Namesake. Very good, Guillermo. <clears throat> Namesake. Hey. Name. I would, please spell it. Sure. Uh, name. Namesake. It's in the chat. Namesake. Uh, okay. Yes. Namesake. Right. Namesake. So a namesake is when you're referring to two people, two different people that have the same name. Right. Okay. So, um, like, my name is Francisco, but in my family, they call me Chico. My friends call uh -huh. me Chico. Chico is my nickname, right? If your name is Antonio, they call you Tony. Tony if your Tony. name is Carlos, there's a possibility they call you Charlie or Chuck. Mm -hmm. So if your name is Alexander, they call you Alex and, and so on. So people use um, nicknames. Uh, people use okay. nicknames, right. Mm -hmm. So a nickname is not necessarily an apodo, but a second option of your, of your name. All right. Mm -hmm. Any questions or comments, people? No. Uh, no. Nickname, namesake. Okay. So we go here. First activity. You guys will be talking about the plans that you have for this weekend. Let me see this here. Uh -huh. Create rooms. And move to here. And here we go. 
So talk about the plans you have for the weekend. Um, use the simple future, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. And here we go. Okay. Hello, Jessica. Francis, Antonia. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, good. Jessica, can you hear me? Jessica, Jessica. Okay, so let me move you to another room, Francis. Okay. Uh -huh. Right there. And she will go to room six. In the morning, at the afternoon, I have to a, go with my my daughter at the at the uh, 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 celebration for uh, I, I for for uh, celebrate the, the graduation. Her graduation. Her graduation is is this. So she's graduating. Next, Yes, yes, yes. University no, or high school? No, in the high school, my, my daughter. Okay, good. How many children do you have, Ovidio? I have two. two. Two, only two, okay. Only two, yes. All right. So you will be celebrating. When is the graduation? Uh, it's a, uh, uh, it's a, uh, on December 5th, but- the, Oh, December the, 5th. This, Fifth, okay, December fifth. But the but this weekend the is a, a like a, a party of of okay. the all. Yeah. You will have like a preview. Yes, like a preview party. Okay, good, good. So, uh, has she decided on which university she will attend? Yes, she, she will. Go to the uh, UCA. UCA. Yeah. What career? Uh, career is a. Uh, um, Do you remember the career? Ar 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 architecture. Oh, architecture. Architecture. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. I'll let. I will let you. Sp I'll let you speak with Arnoldo.
It's dark and also you cannot see because of the water. Especially when it is raining too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. You need to, to have a, a good, good light in your car. Mm -hmm. Hello, I, I stopped because someone uh, asked me for help. But I okay. was... Uh, I was saying that a little um, expensive. Uh, I, I have I have the book here in oh, my house, well, and my and my and my pa and my father uh, recommend me read that book. So maybe I'm gonna start, and okay. maybe Sunday at night. <laughs> Uh, have you ever read uh, an English book? Uh, no, exactly. Uh, a book, uh, a kid book okay. uh, that have uh, uh, some some draw and the language is easy to understand. So I think that is not a real book. Okay, you should you should try to you should try to read a, a English book. Or yes, English in, in this book week I try to uh, read a book in English. Uh, the book is uh, a novel, Pride and Prejudice, but ah. uh, I have the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't understand that word, and I share for a, or look for, for that. Yeah, yeah, because I don't understand because in that novel the language is a, I don't know a colonial. Colonial. A, colonial. Yeah, colonial, and is hard to understand for me, but. Uh, I but try. you're trying, but you're trying, yeah. and, and, and that counts a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right because now? Of course, right now, um, from two to six, um, and I will go out with a friend Sunday. Uh, but we, we used to go, we used to ha uh, to drive uh the highways on here on salvador um we don't just just doing uh, just uh, visiting some places but we, but without uh leaving the car just is mm. all all activity we are doing just in the car yeah just that okay well and and sunday and, and sunday mm. I'm you and when you watch the uh, you 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 wait for more and in some case in some case uh, is one from Friday to Saturday. Oh that's good because if you go on the same day and go and come back in the same day it's very tired, you know. It's, it's tired. Oh, it's so be, tired. to be honest with you, I, I love to drive. Uh, I, I for me, it's not a problem. It's like a pleasure to, to drive. Yeah, okay. okay. You enjoy I, driving. I, exactly. I enjoy driving. But yeah, you're right. Sometimes it's tired and you need to return uh, early to, 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 to don't be late at city. I mean, the, the darkness yeah. in, high, in the high school. Yeah, of course. Highway, it's, maybe it is not so, so good. What, what about the place? It was a good place. It's a beautiful hotel. It's a good place. I mean, it, it is not like a wow, a, a beautiful. Not a five, five stars. A stars hotel, but. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I mean, it was clean, maybe because of the day. It, it was a Friday to Saturday. It was kind of empty, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, people... which is good, actually. I prefer that the. Practice. Practice? You can go to the river, but. Oh. You can you can practice the um, uh, fishing. Senderism. Wow! I think. Oh, yes. what, you need what to can you practice me. there? What can you practice there? <laughs> what, what activities can you uh, practice Sender. there? 
reason there is. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, that is to, uh, to go to the forest. Uh, tracking, tracking. Yes. The word is tracking ah, in English. Tracking. Thank you. Tracking. Yeah. Okay. And what? And what's the name is... of the place? What's the name of the place? Wasapa. Oh. Uh, Wasapa Hill. <laughs> oh. Because okay. they have a like a touristic place, yes. Uh huh. Touristic destinies. And they organize, yes. And they organize like a tracking. <laughs> yeah. The okay. city hall organize it, and you can walk around the Wasapa Hill. Uh -huh. And you can take a lot of pictures there. Is it safe? Yes. And yes, because there are some policemen with the group. With the group, okay. Taking care of the place. All right. Ah, sounds, sounds interesting. I have never been to the Wasapa Hill. It must be a nice place. Me either, but I want to know it. Right, right. Yeah. I want to go to Cerro Eramón in Chalate. That's going to be my next destiny. It's a nice place. Beautiful place. Yes. All it's right. cold the there. Mo uh, the most I, popular I uh -huh. place. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a very famous the place. The most popular place in Chalate. Yeah, because you go to Cerro Eramón and you are like above the clouds you know so it's it's ah. a good uh, good uh, good attractive wow. uh destiny wow all beautiful right. yeah all right all right any questions or comments about the plans that you may have for this coming weekend no okay sure yes guillermo No, no, I, I said that we don't, we don't have, okay. well, uh, All right. at least I don't have any questions. Okay, good. All right, so uh, when, you know, like uh, with this emergency, uh, the educational system has changed, you know. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. And uh, some students, they take advantage of this change and, 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 and you know, when you, you tell them, you have to send me homework or you have to send me an exam, you know, it's easier for them to, to cheat, you know, like, okay, do this homework for me and all that. <laughs> so, um, I'll pay you. Yeah, I'll pay you. Your writing is better than mine. You have more information than I. So, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have read the article in the platform that is called plagiarism. No. No yet. Okay, let me let me write no the word way. here. Plagiarism. What what do you understand from that word? Plagiarism. When somebody stole uh, ideas or or things from a different person. Exactly. So, uh, you know what I do when I'm uh, when I'm teaching face to face. I assign my students to write journals and uh, I tell them that their writing is a reflection of the way they speak, right? So uh, mm -hmm. when you, when, when you, when your writing is very different than the way you speak, there is a big possibility that someone else did the writing. You know, and I question them. <laughs> yeah. I, I write question marks like, and it says, what's the meaning of these questions mark? And I said, okay, there are two possible reasons. Number one, your writing is really good. Congratulations. Number two, the other possibility is that you didn't write it. You know, and when, they, <laughs> when, and when the document is very different from the way they talk, you know, I know that it, it was someone else doing the writing. Right. But, so plagiarism, like Carlos said, when you steal ideas or or you have someone else doing the job for you. Okay. Plagio. What is it? Plagio. Yeah. Yeah. Plagiarism. Plagiarism. 
Right. Plagiarism. Yeah, plagiarism. Plagiarism. Yes. Ovidio, do you have these cases when you are teaching in the university? Yes, because the, when you have to, to, to give the exam, uh, uh, you don't see the, 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 the boys and right. they in, inter, interchange the, the... They exchange the answers. The idea, they say. <laughs> right. The whole idea, the whole process. Right, right. Yes. Or, or, or sometimes, you know, like, because in some classes, it's not mandatory for them to activate the camera. So maybe yeah. the two students are sitting next to each other doing the same, <laughs> uh, taking the same exam. So yeah. it happens. So uh, let me show you... Um, where is this? Where is this? Uh, right here. I think this is the one. Plagiarism. Okay, right there. How serious is plagiarism? What is your opinion about this? Is it a serious uh, act or is it something common that you said, oh, everybody's doing it? Yeah, it's, it's very common. <laughs> yeah, it's very common. Okay. In, 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 in high school, high school and university is very common. Right, right. Yeah, especially in, in, in high school, you know, we're like, oh, I'm, I'm here because my mom is sending me. I'm my here because is my dad is sending me. Mm -hmm. Plagiarism. Plagiarism. Plagiar plagiarism. Yeah, plagiarism. Okay. Plagiarism. Oh, yes. I need uh, the plagiarism. first volunteer to read the first paragraph, please. Recently. Okay, I can do it. Go ahead, please. Hey, on, until where? Uh, until it says complained. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Recently, I, a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had Plagiarized. 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 Plagiarized parts of a major project. She gave them failing grades, although this way the school policy that students' parents complained. All right, complained. Thank complained. you. Okay, so here we have a situation, you know, like the teacher is, is experiencing that the students have plagiarized mm -hmm. he or she takes action but then you have the father and the mother coming to you and complaining complaining right okay any questions or comments about the part eduardo just read no sir no sir okay so i need another volunteer please to continue mm -hmm. reading it can be Go ahead, Guillermo. Uh, until what word? Uh, protest. Protest. Okay. Although, although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The school board director directed Mrs. Pelton, Miss, Miss Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire uh, 2,800 points. Miss Pelton resigned in process. Points. Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments about the part Guillermo just read? Mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. not. Okay. Uh, Aldo, teacher Aldo is the same as due to. Uh, although means a pesar de. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other mm -hmm. questions or comments, people? We're talking about punishment. Right, punishment, right. Punishment. So the teacher's reaction was like, no, nope, you have a zero. You have no grade. And then the, the, the school told her, no, only take 600 points but not 1800. Mm -hmm. So the teacher was like, no, not me, I quit. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Another volunteer to read the next paragraph, please. Why did this? Me, me teacher. Go ahead, uh, Bersabe. Why did this become such a significant, significant, significant story? Perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Exactly. Thank you. Thank so you when your you. values are strong and you consider this a, a very serious offense, you know, you, you, mm -hmm. you might you might have a superiors. Another year to read the next paragraph. Aldo. Can I? Yes, please, Francis. Okay. I'll talk. The incident may soon be forgotten. It raised some important questions. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism. 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 Uh-huh. Plagiarism. How serious is it? Okay, good. Thank you. All right, I need another volunteer to read this the next paragraph. The simplest. Okay, go Me, ahead, Carlos. Please. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, the simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. An essay, good. Any questions there? No, terrible. Okay. Uh, who said uh, that wanted to read? Was it you? Um, who, who wanted to read? Me. Okay, <laughs> please go ahead. Some people. Yeah. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. Okay, good, thank you. So, you know, everybody does it, so it's not a big deal. But in some cases, it is considered something very serious. Another volunteer, it's please. Good. Yes, it's not good. Okay. In fact, why why did it have a apostrophe in the word else? Uh, as good as someone else's, because that indicates that it was property of some of another person. Oh, okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Another volunteer to keep reading. Possessive. Yeah, it's the possessive case. Another okay. common. In, in fact. Another volunteer. It's to gorgeous. Read. Julius. Yes. In fact, it has been learning that even some highly respect, respect figures. figures, including Martin Luther King Jr., have plagiarized. 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 Plagiarized, yes. Okay, very good, thank you. Another volunteer, please. Aldo. Only one, only one. I will do it, sir. Go ahead, please. Although some people find reasons to justify plagiarism, others feel the issue is clear cut. They feel is the more you want and consider it stealing. A death for ideas rather than money. Go ahead, please. Keep reading. Oh, okay. These people believe the students who plagiarize the benefit unfairly. They receive a better grade than they deserve. All right, good. Good, good. All right, uh, and the last volunteer to read the last paragraph. Anybody? So what? about the incident in Kansas uh -huh. was the original punishment too, too severe. Too severe. Too severe. Do teachers have the right to tell the, to tell the students and parents what is right or wrong? Miss Pelton, that uh -huh. the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, good. 
All right, thank you. Any questions or comments about the last part? Or any other part in the paragraph, in the in the article? No, teacher. No? All right. No, sure. Okay, so I know that at the uh, beginning... Yes, Herbert? Yeah, sometimes um, to don't consider plagiarism, the teachers ask for their student they do reference. So they can uh, understand from where uh, they take the information and that's not stealing. It's the, just they are referenced from some information they took from, I don't know, from um, what a book or uh, uh -huh. somebody, you know. Right, right. Yeah, you know, in some places, in some countries, in some institutions, plagiarism is considered a very serious offense. You know, like they can even say, here are your documents and go to another institution, you know. So mm -hmm. it, it, it happens. Okay, so at the beginning of, the, of this activity, at the beginning of the reading, I have like maybe three people giving their opinions. So I want everybody to talk about this. So I will assign you to work in pairs again and, um, and give your opinion about this uh, incident. So we will... Go here and that is it. All right, so let's... Let's do this. Let's talk about this article. Hello. Oh, hey, teacher. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. What about you, sir? I'm doing okay. You know, a little bit tired, but that's that's yeah. part of the menu. <laughs> yeah, of course. It is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just have to work until tomorrow. Okay. I teach a class uh, Saturday morning, and then I'm really? free until Monday. Yeah. How many sessions do you deliver per day? Uh, right now, I have four different groups. Four, four different, different groups, groups. right. Yeah. Right, okay. so uh, I'm doing home office mainly. So, but you okay, know, just, just cool. sitting on the same chair uh, gets yeah. you tired. Yeah, absolutely, you're right. You know, as I mentioned, I, I, I'm working uh, at concentrators and I have to, to stay like nine hours per day staying on the same seat. Right, <laughs> doing the same thing. right, every right, day, every day. right, right. And, and what account are you in, Guillermo? I'm working for Sam's Club. It's the name of the account, Sam's Club, which is, uh, it's like a... Is it sales? It's is it membership. sales? It's like a supermarket, but a membership supermarket like Price Mart, it is here. So you have to be a member to get in and buy your stuff. Um, we are providing customer services. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Good. Good. So you're you're doing the customer service uh, area department. Yeah. Yeah. That is correct, sir. Okay. So good. talking about the the article, I think uh, beyond I think that beyond the, the the fact of how serious is the plagiarism, I think that it's also a, a matter of. Um, of the way that the American people is uh, educating their 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 childs their children, you know, 
because um, I don't know, I've been working there for like two years and then I was working before like three years uh, on another account, on a voice account. And normally what I can see is the American people, the things that they deserve, everything just because they are American. Right, <laughs> you know, it's right. It's the way that the American uh, society is educating their people. Right, and it, right. It's kind of stressing because we have to take the claims uh, all the time, even if they are right or not, right? They are uh, demanding. Right, to, right. To get the things that they think they deserve. Right. Which is not good, of course, but. Right. I don't know. I think that uh, at the end, I get used to do, get used to. Right, right. To, yeah, and, and especially if the client is a little bit racist, like like if they yeah. hear you with an accent, like, or, or I don't understand what you're saying, put the supervisor on the phone. Even oh, right. if you <laughs> if you speak nice and, and, and clear, yeah, yeah. they said, uh, put your supervisor on the phone. So it's... Uh, yeah, that is correct. They, they are, uh, most of people there, it's very racist. I mean, they, they uh, don't say it. Uh, maybe they don't want to show that they are, but actually they, they are racist. Yeah, 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 true. Okay, can you access to room number four, Guillermo? Well, I... Or maybe if you leave the session and come back. Oh, okay, good. They copy the idea of other yes. artists. And I think it's not good. Yeah, I think you, you have to be original. If yeah. You want, when, you, when you do a a li uh, and a small and a smallest work, but it is to the one I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hello, teacher. Yes. All right, did you guys finish discussing the plagiarism article? Yeah. Okay. We are talking about it. Okay. The internet introduced more plagiarism. 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 Right, right. Yeah, and, and like I was telling you, you know, like that's why it's very important that uh, that the teacher interacts with each one of the students, you know, it, it, from my point of view of a, of, a, of a language teacher, you know, because when, you, when like I was telling you guys, you know, I assign papers and when the paper is very different than the way the person talks, there is a good chance that the guy, that this girl or guy committed uh, plagiarism, you know, so <laughs> it happens. <laughs> And the funny part is when you confront them, they deny it. They don't accept it. Mm -hmm. say, oh, it was me. I'm improving my writing. It took me like three hours to write it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. Thank you. All right. Any questions or comments about plagiarism? Teacher Francisco. Yes, yes, Noe. We were talking with uh, Antonia about, I don't know if you know the new United States President Joe Biden. Yes. Was, was accused uh, for plagiarism uh, 30 or 40 years ago. Okay. Uh, was a coup from to stall a speech from other politicians. Oh, but really? That was by the eighties. Yes, there was a scandal in that uh, in that uh, in that time. That time, yes. Okay. So what what the the, the scandal was uh, serious? So serious, it caused his postulation in that in that. Uh, in, in that, that time. Uh, in that time, yes. Really? Oh, I didn't know that part. Yes, it's, it's uh, I saw a, a documentary about, about that. 
Okay. All right. How it's old is he right now? How old is he? 70 something? He's 70 something. He's seven, 78. Yeah, about that. He's, he's uh, near uh, turning 80. Turn, yes, he's seven. Sorry. He, he's been trying to be president 20, for almost all his years. life. <laughs> okay. All his life, yes. The rest of his life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Finally, he he could. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the vice president, uh, she's a daughter of uh, uh, the father was from Jamaica, I think, and the mother from India. Something, something like, like that. that yeah something like Tomorrow. that right right I, I i hope that because of that help to the in in Miran right she should i hope so i hope she should that. i hope that he, she do that yeah and she's like the first um woman vice president in the history of the united states yes yeah mm -hmm. Right. So just, a, just a thing talking about the vice, the, the, the president. Just remember, the Biden was the vice president for Obama. Right. So yes. it, maybe he, 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 he won't help people. I, I mean, <laughs> you're right what you just say. Yeah. Uh, and you know, when you're in campaign, you know, politicians, they promise you everything. I'm going to help <laughs> your community and I'm going to change this and I'm going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Vote for me. And when they get elected, they forget about you. The reality is definitely yeah, that the reality. I'm going right. to make the great hospital. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Cool okay. Way. So okay, let's go to our last activity, which is like 10 minutes long. Um, let me see. Where is this questionnaire? Share. It's right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, what is the name of the topic? Students question. Don't know if it is about hands. Uh, yes, about hands, exactly, about hands. So take a screenshot right now. Or if you prefer, I will send it to the WhatsApp chat so yeah. everybody has access to it. So let me quickly uh, reassign you so you guys can uh, work with a different person, recreate, recreate, all right. Uh, And right here, here we go. So we got 10 minutes to talk about your hands. Um, you, I, I, I what's it, it's supposed that I start working at seven to to four p.m. Oh, okay. But okay. Uh, that's that's when when I was in was going to the office was trying to the office. 
but mm -hmm. right, right now that we are in quarantine, um, mm -hmm. I start uh, working from from eight to five. But mm -hmm. uh, um, how you say careless, careless, and um, for me are okay. Okay. <laughs> in your case. In my case, may I don't know, but my, <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe my hands are big. I mean. Okay. I don't have so many. Uh, how do you say, chaos teacher? Uh, Caliosity. 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 Yeah. Because I I, 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 I always I always work in in an office, you know. So I have a couple of. Okay. The third one. Are you left or right-handed? Mm. Right-handed. What is the meaning of, of this question, teacher? Uh, are you left or right-handed? So, do you use your left or do you use your ah, right? Ah, okay. Right. Yes. Right. Okay, I am um, a right-handed <laughs> and I cannot write with my left hand, but I, I would like to try. <laughs> okay. Because okay. when you paint your hair, you have to paint every month. And and and, and some and some some some, some, some women they <clears throat> like need to to when when they paint their their hair, um, they do the same with nails and clothes. Yes. And okay. I think it's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I use cream and just don't uh, laugh, don't laugh, but I am doing a, a manicure oh. this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. I, I like it because they clean all your nails yeah. and and keep a, a better presentation of your hands. Uh, yes, and your hands, uh, they made your hands soft. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I, I began... I never have heard, I never have heard that word, that, that question before. I don't know. The, the, the hands are parts. I don't know. So, how do you communicate with your hands? Uh, maybe when I'm... When I'm... Ladies and gentlemen, I know that we didn't have enough time to discuss that uh, conversation. Any questions or comments about hands? No, sir. No? Okay, so once again, thank you for making the space of being here. 
I'll be seeing you Monday, same place, same time, nine o'clock. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Good night. Good night.